it's crazy living in a semi truck. I say the only thing you really have to do is be an extreme minimalist. Right here, I have like a cubby. That's where I keep my napkins. And this is my my ghetto headset, my little thirty dollar one. I see all these truck drivers like they have like you know like those gaming headsets where it's like it's a genuine like wrap around headset all the gamers use like they have that but like for calls a lot of truck drivers have that but i mean it works i'm freaking cheap i'm not spending no hundred bucks on a headset when this thing works fine man i got hand sanitizer here every time i go in i gotta cook and this steak is frozen i put it on the window so it could defrost and um this is I don't know what this does. This is engine fan, I guess. I, I never touched this. So I don't know. Traction control. Hill assist. Dude, these trucks. Mm. I probably shouldn't say anything bad before I get sued. I won't say anything bad. Okay. And then this is actually the, the parking brake. Like, you know how in cars you have like the shifter thing? They have two different brakes. The yellow one is the brake for a semi truck. Whenever I'm hooked up like to a trailer, I just pull this red knob and then that'll set the brakes on the trailer. And so that I don't end up rolling into a ditch while I'm in the back sleeping. Oh, uh, that's my garbage can. You don't want to look in my glove box, you know what, a bunch of stuff in there. Ah, uh, uh, this thing, this thing, smoke detector, smoke detector. And my GPS, truck GPS. This GPS, it especially inputs the size and weight of a semi truck. Like truck drivers, we never use Google Maps ever. Otherwise, we end up hitting something like a traffic light or uh, ending up in a ditch. Because a lot of these roads in America are not made for semi trucks. So I need that. This is a cubby. This is all like important paperwork. I got a, I got a sexy vest. Right here, go on, and it actually lights up. So if like I'm ever feeling like groovy, you know, yeah, you bring that into the club, yeah, and then, yup, yup. Or if you just want to let people know you're there without making too much noise, you know, that's genuinely a good feature though. I, I really, I don't want to get run over. Anyways, a CB radio. This is like the the famous thing truckers used to talk to each other uh, and then like um and then they say something like um oh, there's construction up ahead slow down folks i don't know i don't know they, they say something like that this this is actually the air horn maybe i'll pull it later i shouldn't pull it right now <laughs> well, actually this air freshener is out i actually have that's like rainforest it's nice i hear I put my food, uh, this is like the Walmart bags, trash bags. I have, I have fajitas. I love fajitas because I'm like, I'm part Hispanic, so like South American, Ecuador. And this thing, the best seasoning ever. They're, they're pretty expensive, but I mean like you buy one of them, they last you like half the year, so it's fine. And I got my rice because at home, like I would eat rice with everything. But now, like those rice cookers, they take forever to cook. And so like, I just bought this, put in the microwave, and it's good. Microwave. I keep snack bars. Should we start below and work up? Or go up and then go... Let's start up. This is water. Probably a lot of water. I used to put the water under my bed. Like this whole bed lifts up. You're able to have under bed storage. But this freaking thing is my, my freezer. It weighs like 100 pounds. And so I'm like, nah, can't do that anymore. So, but now the freezer, there's a cool freezer. Bunch of stuff in there, food. And this thing is a mysterious thing that you'll never know. That's my shower bag, I guess I, and there's a light under here actually. And then here, I keep my grill, my like cooking grill. I actually have to cook, I'm gonna cook. I'm freaking hungry. And then here, I put all my cleaning stuff. No oh, vacuum. And then like my little duster, air freshener, a bunch of 
bunch of cleaning stuff. I hear this is like my my closet, mini closet clothes. I keep all my like uh, video gear in there. And then actually in between the seat is where I keep a foldable table and then a tripod. This is a fridge. I didn't buy this fridge. My company installs them for every one of their drivers, which is nice. This is the freezer part. Then this is a little compartment. This is all video gear. Actually, I don't sleep on this bed because it's not as... Okay, look at the view from here. And then... Watch. I see this. I grab onto here. And then look at the view from here. Isn't this just much cooler? I feel like it looks less cluttered because you can see the more the clean ceiling. Uh, this is my. I have another fire alarm, but this one is a it's a fire alarm and a CO2 alarm combo. I keep it in the back because you have to have this if you're a truck. You you have to. You don't want some truck catching carbon monoxide poisoning. This is my laundry bag. Less detergent. I have two vents up here to keep me cool. Right there, there's my windows. And this thing actually has a net. Like, so like if I don't wanna like fall off, I can just like buckle it and there's buckles on the receipt. But I never use it. It's fine, I'll be fine. I guess I'll show you what's under the blanket. It is, it's a foldable electric bike, and it's freaking awesome. But I've never, not even once, used it. I realize that I'm in a freaking semi-truck. The only place is that this thing can actually fit is at either a truck stop or a rest area. And those are both on the highway. <laughs> and so... <laughs> Whenever like I look on Google Maps on like satellite view of Google Earth and I like type in like bike trails near me, the only way to get to the bike trail is by riding on the highway. And I'm not gonna ride on the highway. It's just decoration, basically. I gotta drop it off at the house. It's taking up too much space. It's really cool though. I'll link it in the description. It's called Electric. Really awesome bike. I gotta freaking cook. Cause I am hungry. And then the thing about like living in a semi truck is that you can't really cook and use high wattage like appliances unless you have the engine running. Like if I were to plug in my grill right now, like without leaving the engine on, the grill like sucks up so much power that I'm afraid that it's going to suck up all the power in my batteries. And then the next time when I go to start the engine, it won't start. And so like, I always, I have to start the engine. I have to, before any time I cook. Even when I use the microwave, I, I have to start the engine. I actually had that happen to me before. The battery just, just died. But it was while I was sleeping. And I woke up and I was like, and the, the freaking thing didn't start. I had to call my company and then my company had to call a like mobile mechanic to the rest area I was at. But then the mechanic went to the wrong rest area. And so I said, no, 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 you gotta go to this one. And then he showed up at the right one. And then it took a couple hours for him to change out the batteries. And it was just wasted time. And then I just, oh, guys, don't burn it. I am going to make some steak with vegetables steak rice and vegetables or just steak now this isn't like fancy steak this is cheap it's it's london broil it's more like mush but hey steak is steak right i don't care but um i don't know this is like garlic it smells like pickles I don't think I want pickle steak. Oh, this one better. Well, in this thing, like, it has a smokeless feature. It's supposed to, like, suck the smoke out of these vents. Maybe if I move it closer. It, like, has suction. 
I'm not saying it's a hundred percent suction because I see the smoke, but I mean it helps, I'm sure. <gasps> yeah, steak with corn. What else do I have? Do I have onions? Do you know steak and on? Yes, yeah, steak, onion, corn, vegetables. Oh, this is gonna be freaking delicious. <laughs> I like purple onion better than the, a white onion. It's like sweeter. Yes. Delicious. I think I'll like, I'll cook the corn now because it's frozen. Like there's freaking ice falling everywhere. I have like one or two. Now is that I'm gonna have the vegetables. I'll get you. I want, I want corn man. I'm going to eat like a king today. I'm probably the only truck driver in the world that's freaking crazy enough to have a grill in his truck. But, it's electric, so it's fine. I have to move everything around every time I want to get something. I've been a truck driver for a year now. It's, it's literally been a year, like in August. And it's August right now. I started August last year. It's freaking crazy. I say the biggest thing with this job is it's not a job. It's it's a lifestyle like you're basically camping 24 7 literally 24 7 you 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 work here I freaking cook here have my stuff here and I sleep here this is I can't even extend my arms fully without hitting like this is hey, this way I don't know how long is it this is like one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven feet long. And this is like, I don't know, I'm like five, six, five, eight. This is a tiny space. And if you're ever looking to get into it, like the biggest thing for me was that it's so tiny. <laughs> but then again, like, I think I got into trucking at the perfect time because I'm young, I'm single. I don't have pets, I don't have a girlfriend, I don't have anything. So it's like, I don't even have much stuff. Like even before I got in trucking, it worked out pretty well. I just finished eating. I had to go inside. Uh, I'm very lucky. I'm at a company location right now. I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll come back. Wait for that to cool off. And then by the time I come back, that should be cooled and I can go do dishes inside. All right, I gotta close this thing. It's too freaking hot. I need shade. This shower is way nicer than the other one. <laughs> 